Okay, let's try to understand the various cloud models, SaaS, PaaS, and IAS. SaaS is software as a service, PaaS is platform as a service, IAS is infrastructure as a service. Let's start with software as a service. I'm sure you have tried accessing applications with just a user ID and a password. But that's what you do with Gmail, Facebook, Twitter, do you have to ever install any application on your computer or a plugin to access them? Well, no, because you got the softwares and the licenses with the cloud provider. And in this case, the cloud provider is Google, Facebook, or Twitter. So software as a service is when you try to access an application with a browser. The examples are Office 365, Salesforce, ServiceNow, Google, so these are totally based on software licenses and delivery model which software is licensed to. These applications are centrally hosted with the cloud provider or rather say respective cloud providers. In this case you have Google who will be hosting Gmail, Google Talk, Google Groups and entire suite of Google applications. Office 365 is hosted by Microsoft. So you do not have to install Microsoft Exchange on your premise. You can ac access corporate emails with a browser, type your user ID and password, and based on the licenses, you get the application. Similarly, you can access CRM-based application like Salesforce and ServiceNow. There are other applications like games, CRM, or customer relationship management applications, enterprise resource planning applications, invoicing applications, QuickBooks is an example, HR applications, talent acquisition applications, service desk management applications like ServiceNow, these are all provisioned through software as a service. To summarize, software as a service means that you do not have to install any application on your machine. You just need to have a browser and an internet connection and you get access to the softwares from the cloud provider. Next one is platform as a service. Now when you try to access an application, yes, you need some kind of a web server. But for a developer, it becomes very difficult to create a robust, highly available, secure backend. When you think about platform as a service, think about the backend services like Postgre or Oracle. So it allows the developer to create the database, develop, run, manage applications without the complexity of building the infrastructure associated with developing and launching the app. So the developer does not have to create a server, does not have to provision a server to create a database the developer can opt for Postgre database or Oracle database in the cloud directly without worrying about the backend systems. He does not have to procure the hardware which, is, which runs your database. Infrastructure as a service. The term infrastructure means that anything or anything that will be hosting your resources like server, firewalls, databases, backups, security these are all kinds of infrastructure as a service when you think about a server like that well you need to procure that and that takes a lot of time the finance team needs to approve that but in infrastructure as a service you can get that server as a service you can get a firewall as a service you can get a load balancer as a service so you do not have to procure and get them from their respective providers so you will communicate with infrastructure as a service by writing pieces of code or through a GUI or graphical user interface. The backend is all virtualized. Keep in mind that everything that we create in the cloud is based on virtualization. So your servers are virtualized, your firewalls are virtualized, your load balancer are virtualized, your web application firewall, everything that you think about in the cloud is virtualized. So infrastructure as a service is where you want to provision components of your infrastructure like the ones that you see on the screen. 